Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly t general tarot reading, Virgo. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, Virgo, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right, Virgo? As well, if you enjoy this reading, uh, or if you just enjoy my vibe, Virgo, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot, Virgo, and always I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me and my tarot channel in that way. Uh, let's see here, just don't mind me, I'm like randomly pretty distracted with taking y'all's cards in Virgo. Um, but before we get into your cards for this week, Virgo, I just want to say that use your intuition. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could have put it in perspective. Just man reading some tarot cards to you. So when it comes to this, receiving this weekly reading for you, Virgo, uh, take these cards with a grain of salt, right? The, these cards here are just meant for, uh, uh, oh my gosh, get it out, Vaga. These cards here are, just, are for some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making a choice in your life, because it's your life to live, Virgo, not mine. Not these tarot cards, nobody's. So, with all that being said now, Virgo, let's finally get into your reading, starting it out with your objective card for this week. And your objective card is the Temperance card. So, a very powerful card to have as your objective card, because this is a card of, um, mm. Virgo, I feel like some of you guys have been waiting for something, waiting for something to, um, come to light, waiting for something to, waiting for an opportunity to present itself. Um, maybe for some of you Virgos, you've been saying or just telling yourself that it's just like, if you were just given an inch that you would be able to go that my extra mile, um, with that right and i feel like it's just like a one of those things virgo of where you're just like just give me a chance just give me a chance and i'll show you um i don't know what it's about obviously but i feel like this with this temperance card here uh coming in this week i feel like you're going to start seeing the signs of it but you know let's pull some clarifiers for this first and foremost before we get too crazy right because that's the thing virgo like i have to keep myself in check because i'm super optimistic uh, right? So I always will just take these cards and be like, oh yeah, like I'll see like the death card and I'm just like, oh yeah, this y'all doing fabulous, darling, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, let's pull some clarifiers. I feel drawn to pull one more, one more clarifier for Virgo, okay? Two more, okay. Hey, darling, y'all get five cards, I guess. So let's get these clarifiers set up properly. So the clarifiers for your temperance card. Uh, Virgo is the Six of Pentacles, the Lover's Card, right? Yeah, the Lover's Card, the Page of Pentacles, hmm. and the Four of Cups coming in here. I don't do inverted, by the way, Virgo. Oh, I do, but it's all intuitive, so, like, I don't feel the need to, like, let you know which one's inverted and which one's not, because there's no reason to, uh, fill your mind up with extra details that don't matter, in my opinion. Um, and then the Knight of Wands. So, uh, let's, br breaking this down, Virgo, just give me a moment here. I really do get the sense that the sign coming in for you guys some of you, I feel like it's coming in the shape of, like, a person. And I know that's such a cliche when it comes to, like, these types of, like, a tarot reading, right? They're always just like, oh, someone's coming to you. But truly, I feel like, I feel like this is someone that is kind of familiar in some sense to you, Virgo. Because with this lover's card here, this lets me know of, like, an intimate energy, right? Something that you kind of feel, like, a little bit of, uh, it just, I don't know, it just feels right. Now... I do want to clarify this because whenever I say person, it's always because I associate whenever I'm seeing it in my head, right? Especially with like the temperance card, you're seeing cups, right? So it's usually dealing with like emotions. Um, so it's either a person or an opportunity I like to associate cups with. So regardless of the situation, um, 
it's an intimate thing for you. You hold it close. There's like emotionally invested. But the lovers card, lovers card also talks about a decision needing to be made. Uh, Virgo. Now we have the page of coins here. Now this is where it's like I feel like some type of offer being made, some type of communication. Um, it feels almost as if some type of communication is coming towards you. So whether this is coming in in a sense of where it's just like maybe someone that you kind of haven't been really talking to that much recently, of recent times, or kind of tried to like push to the side for whatever your reasoning is of uh, Virgo, someone's coming back in to try to bring in some type of communication for it that leads you to needing to be making a decision on it. Um, Six of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands. I do kind of feel like this is giving you a sense of, um, I don't want to say closure because I don't feel like you're closing anything off, uh, Virgo. I do get this sense more so of um, kind of just realizing where the other side was coming from. Understanding, like, being like, oh, okay, I didn't get that job opportunity that quite yet because, uh, or at that time, because um they didn't have the finance or like whatever whatever there's like a reasoning as to why like something didn't happen in the current point and why you've been having to have patience and why you've been having to have patience and i'm gonna keep that in i'm not gonna even edit that out darling uh why you've been having to be patient in this where it's like this is like what you've been waiting out on and i do feel like it's again i do feel like it's familiar so i feel like you kind of like have crossed paths crossed eyes whatever with it or tried it at one point and now it's starting to come like and you know you haven't considered i don't know i kind of just give the sense that um it's going to be somewhat familiar to you with this communication like i really don't feel like it's like a new person coming in i feel like it's some type of old communication old person coming in or old situation coming in that you once had your hands into um that maybe you already have been patient about right uh, coming in to communicate and I feel like that's gives that's kind of starts the motion for you so when all these cards are coming in as that clarifier uh, or all these cards yeah coming in as your clarifier I'm a mess here go uh, for your clarification card of your objective which would be the um, what was it the temperance card my gosh to, uh, <laughs> Virgo um, really lets me know that like something that you've been patiently waiting on is coming in right something that you've been patiently waiting on is coming in and there is just this i mean again we'll say closure just in the sense that like you're just understanding the perspective so it kind of like stops you from thinking in a certain narrative or something right because with this four swords here and i'm going to already pair it with the nine of swords as well we'll get into those nine of swords in a moment uh virgo but i do feel like there is like this situation here actually we'll get into the nine of swords first and then the four swords um I do feel like in this situation here, you're feeling anxious about it, right? So you get closure in the sense of where it's just like you're finally being able, like you're being shown or being told the other side of things or just understanding their perspective on things. So it's like you're, it's kind of giving you like this sense of release or responsibility. Weird message, uh, Virgo, but I feel like it just it helps you a lot though. Let's see here. Taking these. Yeah, we'll take those. All right, Virgo. So the clarifiers that we have going on for you, I don't think I even said what I was doing, right? Clarifiers we have going on for your Nine of Swords, right? So this is the card where it's just like those looming thoughts, right? This is like you just sleepless nights and just constantly thinking about it, obsessing over it for some of you guys, right, Virgo? Can't help but feel like I called you a Capricorn. I hope I didn't, Virgo. <laughs> uh, but the clarifiers that we have coming in for you, Virgo, is the Judgment card, is the Queen of Swords, right? Yeah, Queen of Swords. And then the strength card coming in here. So yeah, I do feel like there is this sense here where action is being taken. Now, this is where it's kind of interesting because I kind of feel like you have your guard in, like you're kind of on guard with the situation or it's kind of like a sensitive subject for you in some way. Like I do feel some type of sensitivity for Virgo here when it comes to the situation where it's just like, like, I feel like for some of you Virgos, you feel really like uh, it's a weird message or like such a cynical message. But like some of you guys feel hurt or betrayed, right? Something really, some someone's action, some type of action really at the time when you were internalizing it, right? Giving, having anxiety over it, Virgo. Um, it really triggered something in you. 
of maybe not even just feeling like enough, right? Or some type of insecurity that you had going on before this person was even involved, right? So let's just say that insecurity, right? You just maybe assumed someone didn't want to talk to you because they thought, like you just assumed they thought that you were unattractive, right? And so you, because that, of that, you just took it and rode with it. Whereas now you're getting communication and you're realizing it's just like, oh, they didn't want to talk then because they were handling someone at the time, so, right? Um, or dealing with someone at the time. And this judgment card, I feel like action is being taken in this uh, situation here. Now, you do care about this situation a lot, right? It seems to be, especially with that judgment card, it's action, but it's action like, um, kind of like a, <sighs> making that judgment call. And like, it seems like some of you guys feel like you're taking a risk on this, but it's not necessarily in a bad way, but it's just like a, it kind of, it's more like a commendable energy, I guess, Virgo, because it's just like you're kind of like you acknowledge how you can like hurt, like how this can really hurt you. But it's just like you care more about the experience itself of like, you know, continuing on with it. Right. Four of Swords comes in now. This is that card of um, the healing. Right. This is that card of getting like closure on an understanding of another perspective on this situation and then kind of stops you from going into that spiral that we were talking about. Right, Virgo? So let's look at these clarifiers. I feel inclined to show the back of the deck. Uh, we have the High Priestess card coming in here. So again, very guarded energy. You guys at this time, Virgo, are really going to be connected with your intuition. Um, though some of you guys, I feel like it is important, Virgo, to make sure that you're communicating with your intuition and it's not just like your ego coming in, hiding as your intuition, right? Um, uh, take that as you will, right? Y'all, y'all don't care about hearing my spiel with that. But um, yeah, maybe a dare I say, especially with some of you guys, you probably are going to be like looking for answers, not just through tarot, right? It's such an easy cop out, right? Obviously, you're looking for answers through tarot because you're watching this video. But um, I feel like some of you guys yourselves do some of your own like practice of some type as well and i feel like you're kind of going to be seeking insight from the spiritual world like it feels like intentionally you guys are going to be looking into like some type of spiritual sign ancestors spirit guides or whatever you believe in like you're looking for their guidance so the clarifiers that we have coming into the situation is the knight of cups the seven of cups as well as the queen of cups so very much so an emotional, but I also remember earlier, Virgo, what I was saying about those cups and how I associate them, right? And now you're just getting a bunch of cups, um, continuing on from that temperance, right? From the objective card. Uh, so Virgo, um, type, definitely a decision comes in or needing to make a decision um, when it comes to this Knight of Cups coming into your life or like presenting itself to you. There's definitely this sense of where it's just like you're kind of just weighing things out and just being like, is this the most responsible choice or just you think you're really thinking it through um, for whatever your reasoning is. And I'm not saying for whatever your reasoning is in a dismissive way, Virgo. I'm saying it more so in just like a, you have your reasonings as to why like you might feel guarded or just on edge when it comes to the situation, right? or kind of skeptical when it comes to the situation or opportunity that's going to be presenting itself to you this week, Virgo. But Queen of Cups here comes in where it's just also it seems, it's seemingly challenging you, Virgo, on like, it's almost like you identify this person coming in or this thing coming in, um, which helps you give this closure, right? Is like, you're identifying it where it's just like, this is just challenging you um, and challenging your ability of you know, let's just be corny of you and your ability to like love, for example, Virgo. I see this as like, you're kind of identifying this as a potentially really good character building moment for you, Virgo. And so you're taking advantage of it. You're kind of leaning into this, I feel, all right? You're going to communicate with them, right? Page of Swords. I feel like you're going to be open to the, the conversation towards this possibility, you know, right? If someone comes into you with an offer, some type of me like, hey, um, and you'll feel like you're up for the job. So uh, Ace of Cups comes in here. You're opening up to it, right? You're opening up to the idea of it. You're opening up to the... Um, uh, do we want to use this? Yeah, we'll use this deck. But I also feel like I want to pull a uh, card from this deck as well. We'll pull one card from this deck as well for the clarifiers. Uh, Y'all like how I'm just talking to myself, Virgo? 
Some of y'all are gonna be like, why did you pull this extra card? I'll show you the extra card, just so. <laughs> um, so Ace of Cups, the clarifiers we have coming in. The extra card was the Three of Swords, by the way, if y'all couldn't tell. Um, the Three of Pentacles, the five, or Six of Wands coming in for you as well. And then the Ace of Cups coming in for you. Now, I know these cards were upside down, but that's just because of my own incompetence. Um, but they're not inverted for you, Virgo. So, breaking this down, you're definitely opening back up to this from a past pain, right? I feel like this is like you were closed off or guarded because of the pain, whether it's the pain that this past, this current situ wait, this situation from before caused you, or whether this is completely unrelated and like you had your own like, or, like whatever, right? Uh, your heart was closed off at one point, but I do see you finally opening up again. Ace of Cups. I do see some type of collaborative uh, energy here. I do see contracts. I see um, you stepping up to the plate, essentially, right? Stepping up to the plate. Um, again, like, yeah. Six of Wands comes in as the victory. I, I It's kind of just like this sense of um, you're going to be rewarded, I guess. Uh, this time around, Virgo, for giving something a chance, for um, opening your heart up to something, Virgo. I really do get this sense. And it's just like a really big moment for you because I do acknowledge that there is like, either you're just really scared of this pain or like you're just really trying to, like you experienced some heavy pain from before. And so it just like, it really took a toll on you. That pain did. So it's just like, I really respect and honor you guys, Virgo, for like, because that's the thing, like you still acknowledge this for like a challenge in yourself. Like you're able to just see and be triggered and be like, oh, wait a minute. You kind of lean into this situation more where it's just like, I don't know, that's just very big of y'all, right? Because Ten of Pentacles, yeah, you guys got this. Ten of Pentacles, this is that extremely stable energy. This is what the path that you guys are on, Virgo. I'm like, y'all are so, all the earth signs today are so inspiring, my gosh. So final card um is the page of cups here now this is the deepening or something coming new right either something coming into your life right which is what we were talking about or the deepening of a current situation um so this is why also where i feel like it could potentially be um something that's kind of familiar I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know if, like, my phone is about to die. I record on my phone. I can't tell if I, um, just, like, froze up there. Anyways, I guess I'll edit it out if it does. Anyways, so, for your clarifiers for your Page of Cups, Virgo, is the Seven of Swords, the Three of Wands, right? Two of Wands. And then the Three of Cups. So, yeah, this is an energy of something familiar just for sure familiar energy for sure with this three of cups here seven of swords here you kind of were unsure about this you were indecisive again a lot of indecisiveness about this this really probably is like you're probably going to spend like this entire week trying to figure out what to do with the situation or maybe even for some of you virgos this has been a continuous thing for a lot of y'all where it's just like you haven't been sure what to do with it uh this situation here but I do just get, this is just, I guess, a message from my Virgos that decide to just take a chance. They're going to be, just be so happy with the results of what happens with it because it's just so, um, by taking that chance and opening up your heart, like this really leads to like a lot of happiness. And I know that's easy, a lot easier for me to say right now where I'm just sitting here, Virgo, and just reading some tarot cards, right? You have the emotional investment and stuff into it, the time, energy, whatever, right? I know, especially with the Son of Swords and like that Three of Swords from before, like this really like had you in, got on guard, like you really are trying to like protect your heart. And I'm not dismissing that pain at all um virgo but at some point you kind of have to just take that risk right um i see uh, yeah i just see a lot of good for y'all so i'm gonna pull a uh moon oracle card as well for y'all virgo i didn't do it for any of the other earth signs so don't tell them i'll pull three for y'all so let's look at these moon cards we have the blue moon for you believe in the impossible uh, so you know, well, well, I feel like this believe in the impossible is more so associated with these two cards. So hold on. Work through your fears, new moon and script. I mean, can we talk about a specific message, darling? Virgo, come on. <laughs> like the thing that you were feeling guarded about. Work through those fears. 
Um, take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Take time to heal. Believe in the impossible. To believe that that person has changed. Believe in that you have grown and are able to handle it up for the task. Believe that you are good enough, Virgo, because you absolutely are. Come on now. Work through those fears, Virgo. I love you so much. Thank you for so much for allowing me to do this weekly reading for you, Virgo. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below which cards did and how they did. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Virgo. And also, Virgo, I do weekly tarot signs. Uh, I do the weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs, Virgo. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they are not, darling, uh, send them my, a video for, of mine to them for their zodiac sign, and maybe they'll find a tarot card that resonates with them. Until next time, though, Virgo, I love you so much. 